Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first stop for clinically insane Starfield gameplay. This is part 25 of my hardcore survival mode run, playing Starfield on very hard difficulty with some extra rigorous, rigorous rules of engagement. I'll put an overview of that up on the screen, and for the complete crazy details, please read the video description. And I strongly recommend that everybody try this hardcore survival mode at least once. If you can handle the very hard difficulty part, fine, but at least try all the other rules of engagement because I have learned so much about this game with like being restricted to not being able to buy anything and having, having to craft everything. I've, I've learned so much. I can't wait to do another run. Um, I've got so many ideas about this game. Anyways, I digress. Let's get busy. Uh, we are going to complete The fifth gauntlet of the galaxy before it videos end, that is to fully mod three weapons. And we're still in the process of collecting some key resources. I was interrupted in the middle of the previous run because I, oh yeah, but by the way, I decided to keep this ship just as a souvenir for now. This UC Sis Death Chimera, which I did not get a bounty for. I did not get a bounty for slaughtering the entire crew and taking over the ship. No bounty. so. Those of you who are posting comments saying, Slack, you got a bounty for for attacking that UC, you know, ship, you know, in, the, in a previous video. This seems to be like, you know, if they're red, they're dead. That's my motto. If they're red, they're dead. That's their problem. If they're with the UC, they should not be red. <laughs> We're going back to Indum, Indum 3B. Where is this Mr. Laptop? Mr. Laptop is just east of Alpha Centauri. East southeast of Alpha Centauri's Alpha Centauri is there. East southeast of it is there it is. Indum. The twin system to Gunibu. And we're going to this is where I got that UC Sis Def. Okay, we're going to this one here. Indum 3B. So I didn't actually land here. Okay, go. Again, okay. Um, okay, I'm not gonna take him over. I'm just gonna kill him. A lot of activity here. Oh man, come on! These guys are flying around like you. That's a bounty hunter, dude. Ha ha ha! There we go, there's 105 XP. Who else wants some? Another one? There's another one? How about you? Bounty Defender. I'm gonna ignore you. Yeah. Come here and fight me like a man. You chicken. <laughs> Alright, um. He's still there. Can I attack him? You're like, you know, a bounty defender. <laughs> yeah, enough. Oh, there's more. Okay, I guess I pissed him off. Here we go again. These guys are a good source of ammo.
How come I can't heal him? I can't dock him. Okay. Oh, because he's not the last one. Anyway. Man, it's hot. Here we go. Okay, I'm doing this strictly for the ammo. Because I've come to realize the more I engage in combat, the more chances I have of getting ammo. Oh. I'm out of here. Fuck it. I hate zero G. Forget it. Pardon my French. No, 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 no. <laughs> How ironic. Let's take out all your weapons. And, well, let's just take you out completely. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ship parts, thank you very much. Um... There's a lot of mineral deposits in this area. I'm going to skip uh, looting all these ships that I shot down because there's mineral deposits in this area. Oh, wait a minute. Let's at the very least loot that guy. Let's move that guy too. Oh, for fuck's sakes, ISO standard magnets? See, this is why I want to skip, like, because I can't stand getting crap that, you know, I could easily crap myself. Yeah, wait a minute. There, I got everything. All right. Hang on. All right, back to the task at hand. We are here in, here on Indum 3B for Tantalum and Iterbium. And Mr. Laptop is going to show us exactly where to go. First of all, go to the North Pole. See this big patch of copper here. And you see this flat part here, spinning around down here. You find this big patch of iron with this little, like, protrusion here. Along the north coast of this patch of iron, there's this patch of interbeam as well as tantalum. So as long as, let's say, let's just land looking at Mr. Laptop. Okay, so like right about here should be able to harvest both right there. Did you know 
Hang on. Actually, I think I'm going to save that did you know for the beginning of next video. <laughs> um, how about this one? Did you know that you can clear up bad weather instantly by simply exiting your ship, fast traveling back to your ship just like this? See, it works every time. I don't know if this is a bug or a feature, but it works. I've mentioned that before. Okay, so we are here to mine some tantalum and interbeam. Should be a no-brainer. Setting up an outpost here, boss. We have interbeam, we have tantalum. Who loves it? Slack loves us, that's right. Don't you forget us. Let's slap that down. Get those prompts out of the way, and we're going to slap down a couple of extractors. Go into fly cam mode. There's our tantalum. Boom. Here's our interbeam. Boom. And... Throw down a turret. Back it up. Get some power happening. We have six power from wind turbines. Very good. And I believe both of these are solids. Hook it up. Okay, sorry about that. I couldn't find my extractors. All right. Okay, so it's one for two. Local to local to universal. So let's just wait twelve hours. That should do it. All right, fill her up. One hundred percent, okay. And we got sixty-four interbeam, and I'm overloaded. This must be heavy stuff. Mission accomplished. Down you go. Next, Arcturus 2 for Mothvine slash Polymer. Okay, using my special grid finding, my system finding system. Arcturus, if you place Cheyenne at C3, so letters are at the top A, B, C, 3, and we put Cheyenne there. Arcturus should be at D2.5, so A, B, C, D2.5. Who loves you? There we go. Arcturus 2. Okay, I don't know how notes on this, but I remember that Mothvine is in polymer or um, tropical forest. And tropical forests are typically found in chlorine. Yep. 
every time. Okay. Let's try this particular batch of chlorine right here, which is easy to find. Okay, we're looking for a mod find. And there's some wildlife here. Before I set up a perimeter, let me just make sure there's some mod find to be had here. We have mod fine. Okay, so um Ouch. Oh yeah. Definitely setting up a perimeter. Okay. okay. I'm not far enough far enough away from the ship to fast travel back to it. There you go. Let's clear up the weather. Works every time. Okay, let me get the well rest of bonus. Okay, and I want it to be nighttime. It's gonna be easier to find uh Moth finds. Okay, defensive perimeter. Boom. Okay. What's the power situation like? There's some activity around here already. Okay. That's right, come and get some. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Flocking orchid scavenger bitches. Yeah, run! wonder what they give up. Good. Now we can harvest in peace. Okay, so I believe I was venturing in this direction. A brain sprout. I think you guys give up lubricant. No, adhesive. There's my fine. Okay, we're on our way. Great, there's lots of them here. This works. And they're easy to spot too, they're nice and big. Oh, these guys are mad. This is a great place to get mod fine. Ouch! Okay, this is getting serious. These things are like, you know... These little buggers, you know. Level 25. 
Okay, so we have green moth vines. Easy to spot. Tons of them here. I forget how much polymer I need. Is your laptop? Oh, I only, only need two. Okay, but still. Sixteen. That'll be plenty. All right. Next, Beta Mara Mara One. And we're looking for lubricant. Beta Mara. Uh, Mr. Laptop didn't tell me where to find it. There it is. Okay, this looks like we're going to have to go to this guy first. Okay, we're looking for either deciduous forest or coniferous forest. In practice runs, I did deciduous forest and I didn't find it that productive. Here's, here's some coniferous forest. Exactly what I want. Um, I forgot to dismantle my other outpost. Looks like I can't build an outpost here. You see, there's a little notification saying why. It's probably because um, it's like. Oh, it's because I ran out of outposts. Oh, okay. Um, huh. I'm going to have to clean that up off camera. Um, Okay, I'm back. I went and quickly deleted the outpost uh, that we just made here at, or rather, the other location. Okay, so let's slap this down. Get rid of the prompts. Black hand mode. Let's get some power happening. Ten power out of wind. Okay, so definitely a couple of wind turbines. Okay. 
and definitely setting up a defensive perimeter. Max amount of this item has been reached. Oh, how about that? I didn't know there's the maximum amount of trees you could put down. Okay. And these things right here. No. But what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. sound of those turrets. It's still going at it. These are the things I want. These things right here. Don't make me waste ammo. Lubricant. Very good. There's another one. These beetle crab razors. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, now I got an idea. I think I want to group all my tourists together. So what, five is the max? Since each turret requires three power, there should be a sixth one here somewhere. There it is. Okay. It's on. What do you think? Great cages, okay. Yep, you're the one. Come here. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Face the wrath of my... Alright, cool. It's a beetle crab apocalypse. A beetle crab alopolix. Blah, 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 whatever. Level 45. Let's see all the tourist handles here. Yeah, come get some. Yeah, walk this way. <laughs> what fun. Oh shit. Just massacred him. Turrets rock. Way to go, my little turrets. Let's just reposition you over here with the others. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, turrets rock. What the hell? Seriously. Okay. Come here. That's right. 
Get motivated. Here we go. Okay, we're through here. Some lubricant. Having so much fun gunning down these guys with the turrets. I'm forgetting what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> Oh, look, these guys duking it out. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.